Tonight, a sigh of relief in one local community. Just hours ago, the Polk County Sheriff's Office says a neighbor found a missing three-year-old boy who wandered away from his family's vacation home in the middle of the night. This all happened in Davenport in eastern Polk County around 2.30 this morning. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more on the frantic search for that little boy and the outcome that family and neighbors say was nothing short of a miracle. So you are so grateful. Uh... Renan Santos is counting his blessings. It is a miracle, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, you know, to, to stop and think about the, the life, the, the my family. Yeah, we are so, so happy right now. Santos and his family visiting from New Jersey had rented a house in Davenport, but early this morning, they noticed their three-year-old son, Thomas, who has autism, was missing. The front door to the house, wide open. So they frantically called us. The Polk County Sheriff's Office searched by ground, in the air, even brought out their canines to find Thomas. Neighbors who say they'd been sent a text message alert feared the worst. The worst, because there is a lake right by here, and there is gators. But shortly after 7 this morning, the Santos family's prayers were answered. Karina Minchala, who lives on the opposite end of the same street, saw what appeared to be a little boy sleeping on a swing chair in front of her neighbor's house. Somehow, through the darkness, the water, and the gators, Thomas was unharmed. I went over to him. He was, you know, sleeping, and I woke him up like very lightly so he won't get startled. I was like, baby, baby, wake up. You know, um, you want to go see mommy? And he was like, mommy, and he was all happy. And I just grabbed them and waited for them to arrive. Video from Sky 10 shows a pair of reunions. First, Thomas's parents seeing their son for the first time since he had gone missing. Then again, at the house that they were renting, where the rest of the family shared the same sense of relief. It was very emotional to see him reunite with his parents. You know, it's very emotional. I'm happy he's safe and he will, he didn't seem hurt at all. His father tells me this is the first time Thomas had ever wandered off like this. He said words can't describe how grateful he is to neighbors and workers here at the sheriff's office who helped search for and find his son. Just thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. A few times. So it is, you know, I'm happy. In Davenport, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. What an amazing wow. ending to that. So the sheriff's office says when children with autism wander off, they'll often gravitate toward bodies of water. Despite the neighborhood being surrounded by lakes and canals, they say Thomas apparently stayed on the street and found a place he felt safe and comfortable to fall back asleep. Always good news when we can report yeah. good news.